<laughs> good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, everyone everywhere, depending on where and when you are watching. It is a warm, bright, beautiful, sunny day outside my door. What's it looking like outside your door? Sexual harassment and bullying is on the rise. But in this day of social media and the network and the internet, many giants are falling as fast as they are rising. How many women and men have suffered as a child or a young adult, have become drug abusers, they're on the street being promiscuous because of the trauma that they have suffered at the hands of a sexual predator? What is the psychological effects of such harassment and bullying? I am your co-host, Ambassador Lisa Parks, and welcome to Africa Online TV. Now, if you're tuning in on Facebook and you want to become a part of the conversation, come on over here to Zoom. The ID number is 514-199-854. That's 514-199-854. And now for the editorial of the day with my co-host, Nia San. Take it away, my brother. Welcome. Not welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you and honored to know that you are back and looking as sparkling as a recently mined diamond. Welcome on board again. Greetings to all our participants, all our audience, and please, you are always welcome to Africa Online Media Corporation. It is Sunday, August the 28th. It is the 240th day of the year 2022 on the Gregorian calendar. There are therefore only 145 days left until we see another year. So always count down with me on Sunday. We have 16 holidays listed for August 28, but we will not be talking about most of those holidays. Be it known that August 28 is the National Red Wine Day. Did you know that? National Red Wine Day. That is, if you live in these United States of America, you may want to have a sip. Well, not right away, probably at dinner after the program. Do you remember this day, August 28, 1963? It was that day in that year, 1963, the location was the, well, we will read on. So, Dr. Martin Luther King, you remember him? Yes. It is that day, back in 1963, that Dr. Martin Luther King said, I have a dream, that speech. The gathering was in Washington, DC. It was a speech, a civil rights speech at that memorial, that is, the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, DC. 200,000 people had gathered and the speaker, the main speaker was the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Remember, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Yes, today, Fairness seems to be continuously eluding us as we tackle one or other of those social ills that we encounter, that we meet every day. We try to make sure that we live the dream, but so much happens to, have, to make us feel like that dream is eluding us. So today we return to sexual harassment and bullying. There are two on the same coin of those things that elude us that make us feel as if we do not belong, but we are here to stay because we are children of this world. It is Social Justice Day, if I can deviate a little, it is Social Justice Sunday, observed every year on this last Sunday of August. This year's commemoration falls today, therefore, on the 28th, and as especially in a place called Down Under, that is, in the continent that is farthest away from you and I, it is called Australia. So on that day, bishops in that country issue a joint statement 
that specifically and practically invites everyone to remember that since 1940, the bishops, the bishops of Australia have always invited their people to know that social justice is for one and for all. So truth be told, we are not going to that, but last week we admitted that both sexual harassment and bullying are unfortunate bedfellows, rendering victims uncomfortable and diminished and emboldening perpetrators if not checked. Considering the social impact of sexual harassment and bullying in general, we are therefore, or we therefore deemed it necessary to have a follow-up, a sequel, if you may, on the topic sexual harassment and bullying. This time around, that is today, we are inviting you to join us to talk about the psychological impact of this double-edged, double-headed monster which has continued to harass and to make us feel uncomfortable depending on how we feel at that time. And of course, it causes havoc in our various communities. What then is the psychological impact of sexual harassment and bullying on victims in particular? What can society do to not only curb such practices, but to totally eliminate it or eliminate them from our society? As always, Africa Online Media Corporation, unscripted in its discussion every Sunday, is to share your thoughts and our thoughts on the topic. Our lead off question is, what is the psychological, or rather, what is psychological harassment? And how does it factor into sexual harassment and or bullying? What do sexual harassment or bullying do to their victim or victims. As a follow up, therefore, we want to know what we understand when the word psychological is mentioned. Has it got anything to do with one's mental state of mind? Or is it just another descriptor of our being? In today's discussion, we look forward to understand or better understand what, the psych what psychological or psychology in the first place means and what the psychological impact of something happens to be. Have these, have these things anything to do with the person's state of mind? Are they just words or are they things that mean more than just words? We will now turn to the chair of Africa Online Media Corporation, Reverend Pam, as she welcomes all of us, especially our guest, who is not a guest because he's a member of the team, to the discussion. As always, it is unscripted. Feel free to chime in and have your word or say your word. Reverend Pan, are you welcoming us today? Yes, thank you so much, uh, uh, Nia Song, and um, our beautiful ambassador who has been missing for three weeks and we are protesting. Sister Ruth and myself are protesting. Sister Deborah is protesting. Nia Song is not protesting. You know, women like drama. That cannot happen again. That was cruel. That was unusual. Don't do that to us anymore. I apologize if you hear noise in the background. I'm on the road. I moved into another room, but there's still loud people in the in the background. So please forgive me. I'll mute after this. Uh, you are all welcome. Uh, uh, Dr. Nicholas Santos is not a guest. He is part of this team. Even uh, the the topics, you know, this once came from him. He preempted it. We, we have discussed these topics in the past separately, never combined them. And, and, and as our medical topic today, we do the a medical topic the last Sunday of every month. We've been doing that for six and a half years. We are discussing the psychological impact of, excuse me, bullying and sexual harassment. So uh, you're welcome. I see our beautiful sister, Dr. Ta, uh, Martha from across the Atlantic. She's on. Thank you so much. We know it's late over there, but thank you for pressing your way in. And we are, we are uh, looking forward to hearing your take on this. For all our viewers on behalf of Africa Online Media Corporation, I wanna especially welcome you. And I wanna take a minute now to ask all our viewers and all our team members to pray that Nia Song will continue doing this show even after he retires. Nia Song, the day you stop doing the show, we're not gonna continue. I just want you to know that. I'm not putting pressure on you, but there's no, there's no duplicate. You cannot be duplicated. So even when you retire from work, 
you have to continue this. You know, uh, we need that brain power. We need more people to learn from you. And you, you, you have no option. The only way you're not gonna be on this show is if you're in heaven with Abraham. You know, so I just want you to know that. So you, I'm, I'm saying this on the air now. So that way, you know, you can't even, even think it. This is not, there's no retirement here. There's retirement from school, but this one is brain sharing. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, I am going to um, uh, go on mute and, and hand over to Ambassador Lisa. Before she does, can I just say that Reverend Pam, Nia Song may not be retiring, but as the number of grandchildren keeps increasing, he will have less time to be on the program because the grandkids are the ones now controlling the show and making Nia Song either be able to sit up and write something or not write something at all, or not even come on the show because they will be scrambling or scratching grandpa all over the place and wanting help. Well, well, anyway, well, tell them they need to come the on the show and, and since today is the anniversary of uh, the I Have a Dream speech, all of us here are dreaming that Nia Song will continue. He will, yes. he will help him manage the grandkids. You can bring the grand sketch on the show. So uh, maybe we should do a show on grandpa. Uh, Madam Ambassador, we need to do a, a show on grandparents. We need to do that because grandparents they spoil the children. So Madam yes. Ambassador, please put that in the queue. We need to do a show on grand grandparents. And we also, grandparents versus parents. We need to do a show on yes. that. And then yes. uh, 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 Sister Ruth, we still have to do a show on your family. Yes, I'm still working on Ruth. Yes. Families with 10 more. Ambassador Gracie, you're welcome. Over to you, Madam Ambassador. Thank you so much, Reverend Pam. I have missed all of you as well. But trust me, it was not a picnic while I was away. I was not somewhere vacationing just to get away from you guys. I was equally as busy. But we're not going to take up much time. This is a continuation from last week. Dr. Nicholas, welcome. I always enjoy hearing from you. We're talking about the psychological effects of sexual harassment and bullying. So as Nia Sam alluded to, let's talk about what the psychological effects are. Dr. Nicholas. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, viewers. Good evening, Africa Media Corporation. It's been a pleasure again joining you guys today live, uh, especially as last week uh, I was on an emergency walk out of state and couldn't join my sorry for the, um, I apologize for that. And uh, I'm here today uh, to address uh, the psychological effects of sexual harassment and uh, bullying. Uh, as we know, anything that has to do with psychological has to do with the unconscious, the studies of the unconscious activities that happens within the human uh, being. Uh, what do we mean unconscious? We mean things that affects the mind, um, uh, the mind, uh, the neurotransmitters, uh, things that also affects our soul as human beings, and the uh, things that uh, leads to our, that determine our state, our state of functioning, uh, other than the physical uh, effects. Uh, when we talk of the physical effects, we talk of medical conditions. And we will talk about uh, the unconscious activities or processes. We talk about the mind, uh, the personality, um, the anxiety, as well as the mood of that human being. Um, so a psychological now will turn to mean that um, uh, things that affect the neurotransmitters, the neurotransmitters of the brain, because the brain is wired like electrical circuits, uh, that way.